We'll go to Daryl in the back. Same. John, for his first game as a true freshman, how do you feel Daylon Mack handled everything? Yeah, I think he's made a lot of progress uh, from day one in camp and uh, was really pleased with the way he played. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's got to be uh, growth every day. Uh, he's been better. He's gotten better every day in practice, and uh, uh, he'll continue to grow, and we got to push him to do that, and he's responded well. Standing in the back, Daryl. Coach, I know you've been on the visitor sideline at Kyle Field. What kind of excitement do you have going to be on the home sideline with the new redeveloped and the fact that it should all be finished and ready to roll? Well, you know, it's exciting. There's no doubt about that. And, uh, uh, you know, it's an amazing place. Uh, you walk in the stadium, and we had an opportunity to practice in it a couple weeks ago. And, uh, you know, wow, there's not a better venue to play college football anywhere in the country. And uh, that makes it exciting. But uh, to have a chance to go and – and, and know that we're taking a good football team in, in that stadium Saturday even makes it more exciting. We go to Gabe on the right side, and we'll go to Christy. John, six combined sacks from Hall and Garrett. Could you just speak to how how dominant both guys were in the game? Well, you know, it, I, I, you know, what more can I say? I mean, really and truly, they played the way uh, we anticipated. And uh, you know, like I said, not that I have, I've got all the answers. I don't. But I've said all along, you know, that we feel like that we've got the best two ends as a pair in college football. And uh, I think they backed that up Saturday. Now, we got to go do it every week. And, uh, you know, they've worked that way. They prepare that way. And, and when they prepare that way, you expect them to play that way. Uh, we're really excited uh, about what they bring uh, in, in terms of their physical play, uh, their speed, uh, you know, a lot of range there. So, um, you know, we just got to keep recruiting those guys. You know, they, uh, they make coaching pretty easy. Up front on the left side, Christy. I know you, you expected big things from your defense, but how nice was it to be able to see them go out and do kind of what you planned and, and see kind of the reaction of people around the country being very impressed with your work at Texas A&M already? Uh, you know, I think, it, I think it speaks to the quality of players that we have and, and, and them buying into what we're trying to do. Uh, it takes talent. There's no doubt about that. You're not going to win ball games without talent, but also <laughs> Uh, it, it takes them, you know, being willing to prepare, and, and that's the big key. Uh, I tell you what, we hadn't asked these, and, and, we, and, and let me say this, we ru routinely ask them to do difficult things, but they have responded in everything that we've asked them to do. So I'm not surprised, uh, but I'm very pleased with, with the progress. And what we got to do now, you know, that, that's the first game. What we got to do now as a defensive football team is improve, and uh, we need to see improvement Saturday. Uh, you know, we can't be satisfied with what happened in, in Houston. That game's over and long gone. And, and our focus has got to be on our preparation and how much we improve from game one to game two. Uh, that's going to be important in our growth as a defensive football team. Second round, then we'll go to Aubrey. Coach, can you give a letter grade to your defensive performance on Saturday? You know what? I'll, I'll leave that to you guys. You know, uh, as I said, you know, uh, the one thing I will tell you is this, you know, we had outstanding effort. Uh, you know, one of the things that we do, and, and uh, we've kind of put a little bit of that or, or most of it on the players. You know, we grade effort uh, even tougher than we do technique. And uh, uh, we have two grades. If there's a loaf, if what you do is acceptable, and then the third grade is if it's above and beyond. And we had a few loafs in the game, not very many. But the, the exceptional effort plays outweighed the lows. Uh, our guys flew around and, and, and played hard. So uh, that's what we're going to expect them to do. That's what they expect to do. And again, it's just an example of them responding to what we ask and, uh, and what we teach every day. Third row, Aubrey. This might be a multi-parter, but what can you tell us about Jake Blunt or Blount? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And when he, when he found out he was going to play significant minutes in this game, what was his reaction? Well, he was excited. There's no doubt about it. Uh, uh, ended up playing, uh, you know, more than we anticipated uh, and, and certainly, uh, you know, did a great job. Uh, you know, Jake uh, uh, is a transfer student here, uh, played uh, one year in, uh, I think, uh, Division uh, 1A or, or, or something and was a really good defensive end. Uh, you know, really benefited from the time uh, that he had uh, in spring practice. Uh, you know, to put him in that position, you know, learning, a, learning to play a new position, learning to do those things. But uh, I think Jake uh, came in and, 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 you know, played well for us. He ended up playing 48 snaps in the game. So, uh, you know, we're pleased with that. And, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, hopefully we, uh, you, know, not to, you know, not to knock him, but hopefully he won't have to play 48 plays 
in another game. You know, but if he does, he'll be ready. And obviously, he was exciting and, and, and ready for Saturday. Stay in the back, Colin. Thank you, Coach. I <clears throat> uh, just wanted to ask you what your overall impressions of uh, the secondary were, you know, their first game plan in the new system. Well, you know, it's, they played well. I mean, <laughs> what more can you say? They tackled well. They were physical. Uh, we didn't get any deep balls thrown on us. Uh, you know, we had a, a couple of situations and, and not as much the, the secondary as it was with linebackers in terms of, you know, run support on some of the outside running plays. But, uh, you know, they played well. And, and uh, you know, it, that didn't surprise me. You know, uh, they've, they've played well for us all fall camp. Uh, it's a group that, uh, uh, like I said, and, and obviously adding Brandon uh, to that group has been a big plus for us, but we got some other guys that can play. And 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 you know when you when you're in this league, you can't have you can't have enough guys at corner, uh, you know, because they're a little different. I mean, when they get nicked up, when they get nicked up, it's a little tougher for them to play. They get a hamstring that's that's uh, tweaked a little bit. You know, you can't play out there on that island that way. But if you're a big old tackle inside, you can kind of get that hamstring and you can go back and play and be serviceable. But I'm, I'm excited, uh, you know, not with any group, but our entire football team. But, yeah, you got to say our, our, our secondary played extremely well. We were on the right side, Gabe, and then the back to Daryl. I asked you last week about one of those guys in the secondary, Donovan Wilson. Uh, if you could take us through his – and you talk about effort being so important. What about the tenacious effort he as an individual brought you? Well, uh, you know, it's all over the field. I mean, and listen, you know, you, you, and we could single him out and, and talk about that, and it would be true, but it, it's all over the field. And that's the thing that's so exciting, you know, uh, you know, watching these young guys grow. And that's the thing that, that uh, you know, you, you feel good about and, 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 and you feel good in going forward, you know. Certainly, you know, we're going to. We're going to have some adversity. We had a little bit Saturday, and and and, and they fought through it. Uh, uh, you know, and I told I told the I told the the guys this, and we told them on the sideline. I think we had 17 possessions, and there's one time that we took the field that I didn't really like our demeanor, and uh, you know uh, it got addressed on the sideline, and they responded to that. So you know it's the uh, you know the physical part of it's important, all that's important, but it's also the attitude and uh, let me tell you this team has had a terrific terrific attitude in terms of preparation and 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 willing to work so uh you know that's the reason i've been so optimistic all along you know i've watched them work i've watched them practice and uh, you know they don't mind working to get better got time for just a few more in the back daryl coach i know that you're, you expect some improvement in your defense but can you talk about ball state's offense they they looked pretty well last, looked good last thursday and how much improvement you think they'll have and Milas and green what kind of problems they might present you well you know they they're well coached uh, very fundamentally what they do you know they're big zone team uh, you know they like to throw uh, uh, you know some quick stuff out on the edges and just like we just like we're going to see all year i mean it's uh, you know, the offenses are very, very similar. Uh, they'll do some of the same things that we saw this past week. And, uh, you know, they're a well-coached football team. And uh, I'm sure they'll be improved, uh, you know, from their first game. And, and like I said, they played well in their opener. And, uh, you, know, it, uh, you know, it'll be a, a challenge, as always. We certainly respect them. Uh, we respect their ability to make plays. And, uh, uh, you know, we got to worry more about us and, and, and make sure that our preparation is good. You know, that started yesterday. It will continue today. It's a big day for us today, uh, as it will be tomorrow. But we got to make sure our preparation is where it needs to be. We've got a Brent and then Kay will wrap us up. Coach, someone addressed this a little bit, but how disappointing it was to have two guys suspended. But on the flip side, in the coming weeks, you're gonna, it seems like you're going to have quite a few guys back from injury and then also the suspension. So you'll be back to more full speed at, on defense. Well, you know, we, we always take it like this, and, and you know, uh, it, is, it, it, it is disappointing. Uh, but at the same time, you don't worry about the guys that aren't playing. You worry and focus on the ones that are playing. And, uh, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, we got a, had a couple guys because of injury that didn't play that you'll see in the lineup, uh, you know, here soon. Uh, I think we get everybody back and, and you know, play with the same effort and, and, and the same intensity, then, you know, we've got a chance to get better, and we expect to get better. All right, Kay, I'll wrap us up. Coach, uh, this is going to be a two-parter. The Aggie defense was maligned last year. Is it a bit of a relief coming out of the first game, getting the positive feedback that you're getting from everybody? And going forward from that with your players, you mentioned attitude. Do you find it important for those guys hearing at least the words wrecking crew being brought up again, or is that going to be something that you're going to have to 
quash a little. Well, no, you know, and like I said, I, I, you know, I'm a guy that, you know, really, I love, the, you know, to embrace the tradition, and you know, we've got to go earn it, and it can't be, you know, a one-time thing. And you know, uh, if our fans feel strongly about it, I'm all for it. But our players understand that it's something that has to be earned. It's not, uh, it's not anything that's going to make you play better. Uh, but by playing better, maybe our fans will feel that way about you. And, and I said this back during spring practice, and. And, you know, I got asked, you know, where the deficiencies were. And, 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 and simply, you know, it was confidence. It was confidence, you know. Uh, our guys have grown leaps and bounds in confidence. Uh, and, and, and confidence come, comes from having success. And, and that, as a coach, that's what we got to do. We got to put them in situations where they can be successful. And uh, when they have success, they become confident. And when they become confident, then they become a great football team. And, and that's, that's the direction we've been working in and uh, said all along, you know, we've got good talent. I think that showed Saturday. And, uh, uh, you know, we got to continue the hard work. And our players have to re remember what it took from way back in first day of spring practice and even before that, that cycle in the weight room, what it took to grow to where we are. And we got to continue that growth. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.